Hi, I'm Natalie Rhodes, and this is Into Math's fifth grade, module one, lesson two. All right, I want to start off going over the I can objective found here. I can rewrite expressions involving the product of a one digit number and a power of 10 as a whole number. And the learning objective is write and evaluate repeated factors in exponent form. Prior learning from fourth grade was the same from lesson one. Students recognize that a digit in one place in a multi-digit whole number represents 10 times what it represents in the place to its right. And we learned the opposite is true is if you move to the left. The next one is students multiplied and divided whole numbers of up to four digits by one digit whole numbers. All right, so if we jump to page nine, the spark you're learning. A local business has set up a website to raise money for a playground. Each donation is $10. For the first 10 days, the account receives 10 donations each day. How, how much does the account receive the first day? How much does the account receive after 10 days? Explain your thinking. I want you to try your best to work this out, draw some models, draw some arrays. Go ahead and pause it and try that now. All right, hopefully you got a chance to kind of draw and figure out what was going on in this problem. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and draw what's called a long. And that looks like this. That's called a long and it represents 10. All right, so this is the $10 for each donation. But the problem said, they said each day they're receiving 10 donations of $10. So if I'm receiving 10 donations of $10, I'm getting $100 each day. So if I could sit here and I could do 10 longs, another way I can do this is called a flat. So it's just a really big square. And this represents 100. All right, so this is 10 longs is a flat worth 100. So this would be one day. And then the question asks, how much does the account receive after 10 days? All right, so if I wanted to show 10 days, what I wanna do is I'm showing, I'm getting $100 per day for 10 days. So now I'm multiplying this number again by 10. So I'm gonna attempt to turn this into what's called a cube. Not bad. All right, so now I'm, making this worth 1,000. And all you, said, all you see that I did was add a zero. I'm multiplying by 10 and we know I'm allowed to just add a zero. So this cube is now 1,000 and now this is worth all 10 days. Now going from drawing to do this in, to number base, what I did was I took my $10 and I multiplied it by my 10 donations for one day and then I multiplied it again by 10 days. Now, if I have repeated multiplication in the same number, I'm allowed to use an exponent. So I took my base number here, the number I'm multiplying is 10. How many times I'm multiplying it? I'm multiplying it one, two, three times. That's where my exponent comes in. The three is the exponent. You can call this 10 cubed or 10 to the third power. All right, so now jumping to page 11, I'm gonna be going over number two. This is a company sells 10 to the sixth power cell phones per week for seven weeks. The total number of cell phones sold is seven times 10 to the sixth phones. How many phones is this written as a whole number? Write seven times 10 to the zero, seven times 10 to the one, and so on. All right, so looking at this first line here, it says seven, times 10 to the zero equals seven times one. Well, how can 10 to the zero equal one? Well, remember what this is saying is how many tens are showing up. If you have 10 to the zero, it means there aren't any tens. There are zero tens, there's nothing there. So it's just seven, seven times one is seven. If I don't have any tens to show up, it's just seven. So that's why 10 to the zero means one because it means there's no change. There's no multiplying anything. Now for the next one, I have seven times 10 to the first, which means I have one 10. So it's equal to seven times 10. 
we know that if I'm multiplying by 10, I just add a zero. So my seven added to adding one zero is a 70. Now move down to the next one, seven times 10 to the second. Notice there's two 10 showing up, seven times 10 times 10. There are two 10s because the exponent here is a two. Now you'll notice a pattern as I start going ahead is how many zeros? If I have two tens, I have two zeros. Another way to look at this is what is the exponent? If the exponent is two, I'm going to have two zeros, making 700. And the pattern's gonna continue. So seven times 10 to the third, showing seven times 10 times 10 times 10 to the third. Guess how many zeros I'm gonna have? One, two, and three, making 7,000. Seven times 10 to the fourth, there are four tens, which means I have four zeros. Seven, one, two, three, four, making 70,000. Keep going, seven times 10 to the fifth, I have those 10 fives, which means I have, I'm sorry, I have five tens, which means I need five zeros. One, two, three, four, five. Now I have 700,000. Seven times 10 to the sixth, six tens, so six zeros. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Seven million. So how many phones are sold in seven weeks? I'm gonna put seven million phones are sold. All right, hopefully this was a really good small example for how exponents work when multiplying powers of 10. Please go ahead and complete your lesson and do your check for understanding. And I'll see you for lesson three.